Severe weather season in the upper Midwest is just about over now that the cooler weather is settling in. Next weather meteorologist Adam Del Rosso takes a look back at a busy year. From the start, it seemed like this summer was going to be a busy one with severe storms. Oh, it's touching down. It was May 15th when seven tornadoes hit Minnesota and western Wisconsin, including this EF2 in New Richmond. And then came June. We had warm, humid air in place and fairly strong winds aloft and uh, and not a lot of uh, not a lot of motion otherwise in the atmosphere. That setup led to a derecho, a long duration damaging windstorm in the early morning of June 21st that blasted Bemidji in northern Minnesota with winds between 100 and 120 miles an hour. The number one event in terms of weather events uh, all year long, in, not just in the severe weather season, is that Bemidji blowdown. As expected, June was the busiest month for tornadoes in Minnesota, with the unofficial tally for the whole season sitting close to average at 42 twisters. Most of the tornadoes were rated EF0 or EF1, which, you know, these are, they can do some damage, but it's not the same as with the EF3, EF4 type tornadoes. Just across the river in North Dakota, it's a different story. According to state climatologist Daryl Richeson, a record number 80 tornadoes touched down this year, including the country's first EF5 in 12 years in Enderlin, the same night as the derecho. Oh, in North Dakota, first one since the famed Fargo tornado of 1957. We always also have to remember the EF scale is a damage scale. We've had tornadoes that strong. It just it has to hit the right thing, sadly to be judged as a EF5. Richardson says the higher tally is due in part to more storm chasers and better detection techniques, but even so. I can guarantee you won't be too many North Dakotans that forget the 2025 season. Adam Del Rosso, WCCO News. On average, Minnesota could still see one more twister through December, but that hasn't happened since 2021.